Hello and welcome to circuit analysis solution. Now in this example we need to find the equivalent circuit equivalent resistance between A and B. Now we know that for the series combination of resistors the resistors are, are added. For example I have two resistors R1 and R2 and if they are in series they are going to be added. For parallel I need to multiply and then I need to divide by the sum of those two resistors. So now to find equivalent resistance between A and B, we are going to start from the opposite side, that is from the this side. Now you can straight away see that the 8 kilo ohm resistor is in series with the 4 kilo ohm resistor. So this 8 kilo ohm and 4 kilo ohm resistors are in series, and when I add them, I get 12 kilo ohm resistor. And that's exactly what I have done over here. You can have a look. I have written all those resistors as it is and in place of this 4 kilo ohm at 8 kilo ohm resistor, I have uh, put 12 kilo ohm resistor because these both are in series. So 4 plus 8 is 12 kilo ohm resistor. So now I have this circuit now. Now again, if you see this 12 kilo ohm resistor and this 12 kilo ohm resistor, they are parallel. Now why are they parallel? Because on one side they are connected to this node. On the other side, both these resistors are connected to this node. In parallel, usually one of the resistors this is the parallel combination. If you can see over here R1 and R2 on one side they are connected to this node on the other side they are connected to this node. So they have same node on both the ends. Here again they have same node on both the ends. So this 12 kilo ohm resistor and this 12 kilo ohm resistors are in parallel and for parallel the equivalent resistance will be the multiplication of both divided by the summation of both. So 12 multiplied by 12 is 144 and that is going to be divided by the 24 which comes out to be 6 kilo ohm that is. So now I can replace these two resistors by 6 kilo ohm resistor. So I am going to do it now. I am going to erase this and I am going to okay. So this is your this will be now your 6 kilo ohm resistor. Fine because the two 12 kilo ohm resistors have been erased and their resultant is 6 kilo ohm resistor. So this is your 6 kilo ohm resistor. Okay, These are connected over here. Fine now this is simplified circuit. Then again if you can have a look this 6 kilo ohm resistor is in parallel with this 3 kilo ohm resistor. Why? Because on one side we have this node both resistors are connected to this node. On the other side we have this node both resistors are connected to this node. Again they are in parallel. Again their equivalent resistance will be the multiplication of both divided by the sum of both. So that is 18 divided by 9 which is 2 kilo ohm. Fine. So in place of these two resistors I am going to connect our 2 kilo ohm resistor. So I am going to erase these two resistors and I am going to simply connect a 2 kilo ohm resistor over here. Fine. So let me connect a 2 kilo ohm resistor over here. So now I have a 2 kilo ohm resistor. Now if we can have a look this 2 kilo ohm resistor and 4 kilo ohm resistor is in series. Fine. So now 4 kilo ohm plus 2 kilo ohm is equal to 6 kilo ohm. So now I am going to erase this stuff and simply I am going to write 6 kilo ohm resistor over here. So this is my 6 kilo ohm resistor. This is my 6 kilo ohm resistor. Fine. It's connected over here. Now again if we can have a look the 6 kilo ohm resistor on one side is connected to this node. On the other side it is connected to this node. Same is the case with this 6 kilo ohm resistor. So both are connected to this node on one side and both are connected to this node on one side because this all is shorted. So again there is a parallel combination of two and when we take the parallel combination the parallel combination will be equal to 6 multiplied by 6 divided by 6 plus 6 which is equal to 36 divided by 12 which comes out to be 3 kilo ohm. So the equivalent resistance of all those will be equal to I am going to replace this by a 3 kilo ohm resistor. 3 kilo ohm resistor. So the equivalent resistance between A and B is equal to 3 kilo ohm. Thank you. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel.